Kenny here with Garden Simplify. It's February 10th. We're out here in the greenhouse and we're going to be uh, air layering some citrus trees. So let's get into it. I have a uh, Satsuma orange and I have a Meyer lemon and, and I'm going to air layer them both. Now you can see on this Meyer lemon, uh, even though we still got cold weather, this is the time of the year when they start blooming. They're just setting blooms all over as long as they get some uh, pollinators in here. They ought to have a good crop on them. The uh, Satsuma, now it's just now getting ready. It's got its bud swelling almost open. And what I'm going to do is uh, take some air layers. But I'm running an experiment on this this year. It's always an experiment for me. I have already air layered two. This has been about a week ago but I use no roots stimulator and we're going to see how they do compared to the others. Okay, I've got a bucket here, a little tub, and I've got a few things that I'm going to use to do these. Now, I purchased these little uh, air layering pods. They're just little round. They've got different sizes. This should be perfect for me. Now, I've already preloaded uh, these pods and we'll see once we get one of these limbs ready to uh, put one on. But I also have a uh, grafting knife. A lot of times this comes in handy when we're doing this. And my other tool of choice is a single-edged razor blade. Works real good. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to take and we're going to uh, we're going to actually air layer both these lower lens and another one over here but we're going to take the cambium layer off of here uh, and i'll show you how to do that also in our toolkit we have some clonex i've used this in the past on on my lemon tree and it worked real well well in my orange tree so uh, first thing i'm going to do is get started here and what i like to do is in, in the area where I'm going to be air layering, and normally I have my uh, trusty clippers out here, but I'm just going to uh, cut this little limb off right there. And as you can see, with this one that doesn't have anything in it, uh, you can see if we've got enough room to put this, this on. I think we're going to need to take just a little bit more off of here. Uh, and it doesn't matter if we come back to there a little bit as long as we got room to cut off. This was actually where we dare layered uh, one off last year. And usually, I would say you want to air layer whenever it's actively growing. You don't want to try to air layer any type of uh, tree when it's dormant because what, what you're trying to do is it's actually got green leaves whenever you take this cambium layer this cambium layer off of off of here, what it's going to do is it's, it's not going to feed this stuff back to the bottom. It'll still uh, get nutrients coming up, water and stuff. But what it's going to do is it's going to cause this to grow roots right in this area. And for me, it's easiest with the single edge uh, razor blade. And normally it'll take out about an inch. What we're going to do is Take this outside layer. Now the the cambium layer is the one, the layer right underneath the, the bark. So we're not going to cut real deep. We're just going to cut on this outside. And then normally we'll take this razor blade and we'll split it right down on this side. Right down to where our other mark is. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to peel this off and a lot of times if you have good fingernails you can do it with fingernails depending on the season it, it does better but however however it does uh, you're just going to have to get there under it and we're going to peel this off now this is the bark and the cambium layer now there might be a little bit of it left we're going to continue to uh, take this off all the way around.
and just be patient. Don't get in no hurry. Uh, it's a lot easier when you're not going to film this because you can put your hands in areas where it won't interfere with the camera. But for this sake, we're going to uh, take our time and get this done. But where these little uh, limbs come out, the branches, I take that off. I want to make the effort to get all all that layer of, you might say, bark, but the, all the layer of the cambium off of there so that I can If you leave this, if you don't get all the cambium layer off, what's going to happen is your uh, branch is going to be able to feed back down to the roots, and so it's not going to it's not going to want to put out its roots up top. But anyway, we're going to get that cleaned off good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go around here. You see, we're getting rid of that green, so we're down here to to the wide area or the lighter area and and that's going to make sure that we have that cambium layer all the way uh, broken and that's that's all it is to to that part now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take uh, just have a utility brush or acid brush this and we're going to take and use it to apply some of this uh, rooting hormone on here. And we're just going to liberally put it in this area. What we want to do is uh, put this on here. And it's going to encourage growth. Now, there's a bunch of different kinds of rooting hormones. I find that this clonic like I say, worked good last year, so I'm going to continue to use it. Uh, there possibly is one that's recommended that's better uh, for grafting uh, citrus trees. I don't, or for air layering citrus trees, I don't know, but this kind of works all around. It's, it's pretty good. But anyway, once we do that, now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these balls and we'll open it up. They just kind of snap together. Now, some people put foil around them or whatever. They have some of these that's clear, that's not black. I just put them on like this. Now, they have two ends. One is smaller than the other end. And I always tend to put the biggest end out because if it seems like it's been a long time and it's been dry like in warmer weather, then a lot of times I'll tilt it up and I'll pour some water to make sure this is moist. But what we got in here, we pack this with... Uh, just stagnant, uh, stagnant peat moss, and we're just going to stick this up here over this branch, just like this, and we're just going to snap it closed. And I always put the seam that snaps towards the top too, because I want it to be more likely to keep moisture in here. But it's it's good and closed. Uh, it'll be all right now. If you want some extra, you could put some kind of stretch wrap or something around. But this should work uh, fine. When I water this, this seam might get a little water to keep it good and moist. Because if it dries out, which it's not, it's not going to be searching for water with the, the roots of it did. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure how I'm going to do these others. I'll probably just do this one. And... And then we'll come back and we'll talk some more about uh, your uh, air layered fruit trees and what you need to do after you take them off. Okay, while we're doing this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some pruning. Any of your dead limbs that you might have for whatever reason that died uh, during the last season, we're going to go ahead and trim these off, get them out of the way. And then we're going to, after we get the last ones off, 
Now you don't want to cut too close up to your if the limb's coming out the side or something, you don't want to cut too too close up to the area where the uh, collar is on that that limb because you want to be able, it to be able to heal over. You don't want to damage that side and it's going to cause it more stress. But there's there's a few in here uh, that have died, and I see a few on the other side too. Another thing I want to talk about when you're air layering these now, like the Satsuma Orange, it does have these uh, little spot, these uh, thorns coming out of it. And what we're going to do is, anytime I air layer down close to where I'm air layered, I'm going to cut those thorns off because I don't want to end up, when I get ready to plant this thing, that these these thorns are going to be here and catch my fingers because they definitely are sharp and they definitely don't feel good. But I'm going to go ahead and air layer some more. Okay, we have these uh, all uh, attached here or air layer balls. But I want I want to mention one more thing: when you're uh, air layering a limb off here, don't air layer the real green wood uh, when it starts to you see how it starts getting stratification lines or something that where it's getting a, a harder bark these air layer good when i air layered the smaller limbs that were, were green like this uh, none of them took so if you're going to take a cutting say on this then uh taking a piece of wood that's not real new. Anyway, uh, that's that's all it is to it. Now we're going to go down here and talk about some of these that were air laid. Now they're mixed in here amongst the ones that uh, were planted from seed. What we want to talk about here's one, here's a Meyer lemon. Uh, this Meyer lemon has fruit. It's, it's ripe. It's ready to go. You're letting it get just a little bit more yellow, and we'll pick these today while we're out here. But what I want to say is, this, now it is sturdy. This, this has produced about five uh, fruit this year, but it would do a whole lot better if you took the fruit off of it and let it go ahead and grow that first year. Because when your air layer, uh, a tree, whether it be citrus or otherwise, it doesn't know that this is its first year in a pot. Its age, it's at fruit producing age because that's what the tree was. You're cloning that tree that uh, was at fruit, fruit uh, producing age. So it, if you want it to grow, you want it to get big, then, like I say, don't, don't take any fruit uh, or don't let it fruit. Now, there is another one, I think, right here. This this is another Meyer lemon. Now, this one had a couple of uh, fruit on it, and we've harvested them. <laughs> but they're doing okay. Don't get me wrong. They, they will grow, but they'll, the plant itself will grow much faster, and you'll get really heavy fruit production faster if, if when you air layer them. Uh, don't let them produce that year. And another thing, I don't know if I said, but if you're air layering and there's blooms on the limb that you're air layering, which we aren't, uh, but if, say, blooms develop on that limb, go ahead and, and pop them off because you don't want it uh, focusing any energy on reproduction as far as you want it to focus the energy on putting roots so anyway, I hope this is helpful for you. This is a perfect time if, you, if you're if you in an area. Now, we're not in an area where we can just leave our fruit trees out. They'd have to have some protection uh, because it gets too cold here. Uh, even though we have, uh, it, even though it's uh, a warm zone, and the winter temperatures are too cold for, for uh, 
citrus tree, so we do have to supplement them somehow to give them some heat. But if you have one and you're able to, say, bring it in in the wintertime and stuff, and you want more of that fruit, uh, it's easy enough. You don't have to go out and buy anything. You, you can do this same method that I did right here when I air layered my first ones. I just used uh, Ziploc bags. I put peat moss, uh, wet stagnant uh, moss in in the bags, and I just uh, put a slit in the side, wrapped it around the limb, and then took a string and tied it up, and then I put foil over the top. That works just as well. I don't think that you've got to have some kind of special uh, air layering ball like this. It, just for me, this is easier and quicker because it seems like the more things I get going out here in the garden, the less time I have. Uh, but if, if you're in a financial situation where you can't really afford to do that, get you get your Ziploc bag and do it that way. And I'll try to link that uh, video at the top or in the, com in the description. That way you can go to it because it was it was shot from start to finish. It wasn't in series. It was from start to finish. So, so uh, anyway, appreciate you watching. If you're not a subscriber, you want to see more content like this, you can just hit that subscribe, hit the bell, select all. And, of course, give me a big thumbs up and share this video. Enjoy that gardening experience.